Welcome to the Crop Pound. Y'all, I said about a year ago, me having this building with a guy like this, my like boy right here, I would say that would, that would never happen. Now look where we're at. We already know the show. I'm already gonna fucking be there, dude. That's Scott motherfucking song. I wasn't there for that match, but I watched it on the internet and the curb stop all day was so brutal. 50 man. minutes. Yes, no dude. Gotta we're gonna be there, dude, here. Enter the compound, right? Fuck yeah, dude. Captain Dave, we're gonna have to get Stolfer to get you new gear, man. We're gonna have to get rid of hey, CZW. We're, we're, we're gonna get you a, a GCW jacket and hat. Hey, well, thank you, we're gonna make that the goal for the next show. You're gonna have to get that. Are you okay with that? Yeah, I'm okay all right, with all right. That, I'm gonna man. talk with Stolfer. We're gonna do that, okay? Right, you saw Gage was eyeing you down. He said, oh, I don't yeah. like that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah Nick!
He was pissed. Wait, with the hat too? Yeah, he didn't like it. Yeah, yeah. But you gotta, gotta get, get, you gotta get do the you. hat there and uh, gotta get the It's alright though. It was all, you know, Zandix CCW, but nowadays we got we gotta get you we gotta get you decked out. Yeah, I know. It's gonna be brawling, there's gonna be violence. So please be mindful of your surroundings. This is not the parental learning. Please be careful. The next three matches are going to be in your face. They're going to be crazy. And just like you like it. So just be mindful of everything around you as the next three matches take place. While we crew is getting the ring ready for the next set of the matches. And uh, like I said again, go visit the concession stand. You all right, brother? Yeah. He's tired? Yeah. Good? Yeah. Done? If you want to go talk to Schlack, go talk to Schlack. But he's busy. Oh my god, take a walk. Look at Brett beating the pen. I don't want you in here, I want Lyle. Wait, wait, what? No, oh, no, oh. just want Lyle. <laughs> no. Lyle, what's going on, man? I'm here. Lyle, wow, you ready to go into the new year? Uh, I got no choice, so I got to. Yeah, you know, what are you doing tomorrow? Are you partying? Tomorrow? I have no idea. It might be a last minute thing, or I'll just stay home and watch the ball drop with Ryan Seacrest. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that tells you how bad my night's going to be. Well, me and my girl, we plan on uh, going into the year. We're not going out because we have kids this year, but I told her, I said, we should just fuck until, like, the ball drops. We'll just go into the new year fucking, right? <laughs> All I know is I want to see Stockade come here and steal your coat. That's all yes. I want to see. I loved it, dude. When he did it, I was like, no! I watched the video on that. I was like, no! And you actually put the camera right on me as I was laughing at you. Yeah, dude. Oh, it's good times, dude. I fucking love you, man. Hi, Danny. Hello, how are you? <laughs> Yo, you snagged my beer good, oh, yeah. dude. Yeah, you drank that shit, didn't you? Did. He gave my eyes a guilt. Mine. <laughs> he did. He, like, grabbed the fruit. He's known for that. <laughs> sneaky, sneaky. I'm been around. Lyle's been around taking photos. I'm actually relaxing tonight. Good. I wanted to check the place out because I, I didn't know it was this big. Yeah, I, I was only here one night with them just to check it out. And it is like 40% bigger. You, get, you can get like three, three rows of chairs if you want to get them up to the ring. No problem shooting here. I'm starting to see that. It's going to be the summertime. This place is going to be awesome to be at, dude. And I don't know if you know, you know, they're they're going to be losing the game changer wrestling venue over there now. That's what I was figuring out. Yeah. yeah. But no, this is a nice, this is a nice size, people. And I think if you get enough people in there every time, it's perfect. You don't need to have like four or five hundred people. And we'll see. Uh, at on point, we'll probably put a lot of people in here. Oh, yeah. Uh, on point on the 13th. It's going to work out. It's going to be great. All right, I'm going to get out of the way. Catch you later, man. Happy New Year, brother. You'll see me again. Yeah, I will. Oh, shit. Right in front of me. Holy shit! <laughs> yeah, water border. Use this. It's whiskey. <laughs> it's even better. Use, it, use the whiskey. He's not legal. Yeah, water border. <laughs>
give him a give him. Louie, you gotta get some fireball, brother. Yeah! yeah happy yeah. fucking New Year!
Here, step your game up and get out of our fucking territory. Cause our locker room's fucking solid as shit. All tough ass workers will fucking die for this business. Fucking pussy. Yeah, I'm talking to you. Don't fucking type shit. See me in person and find out how fucking tough I am. Shots fired all fucking day. Does someone kills me or shuts me the fuck up? Shot callers. Shot callers and cop callers. Can I say Nick is a fan? Uh, so see the want, hate club TJ. back in the fucking ring together? Yeah, as it should be. Fuck yeah, dude. It's fucking made my fucking night, dude. Happy fucking New Year, dude. Listen, man, you bro. Listen, man, I'm a real motherfucker. So when I get back home, I put my friends back fucking on. That's why I'm a real motherfucker. 20 motherfucking years. So when they kick them out of that when fucking company and, and no one fucking uses them, I come home, I set up shop, I bust my ass and I put my friends back on. That's what the fuck I do. I've been away seven fucking years, I come, I go right back to the fucking top. So I work my ass off and I keep it real. And if you fucking pussies don't watch TJ and Friends, I'm gonna send Danny Havoc to your fucking house. You know what he'll do? He'll probably fuck your mom and your sister while you're watching. Slack, my man, dude. I fucking love it, dude. I fucking love you guys. Dude, you're really gonna come by and fuck my girlfriend and do some crazy stuff. Sorry, that's what I mean. If that's what Nick says, that's what I gotta do. Listen, but, but what if I just have like a bottle of whiskey and we be straight, right? He is at the top of this game, and I have to defer to what he says. So, I mean, listen, it's, it's man, shit going really downhill. I'm at the bottom of the total pool, bro. But I don't want to yeah, move. Please, do. please don't come by and do this. So, I don't want to fuck my girlfriend. I don't want to hurt your family. But if I got to do that, I got to do that. What do you want me to say? You want to have a little swig of the whiskey with me? I did like hours ago. I've been oh, you did? Have you flagged you down across? I was like, hey, did you, did you find my cool guy that I know? You did? You know, oh, oh, I'll find it now. Off camera too, whatever. I'll go find it. I wish you were retired today. Neat. I've been watching this shit since like Xandix season. Oh, yeah, well, when Xandix CZW early 2000s. Right, 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 right. The hate club feuds with like Nick Mondo, you know, fucking just, it was so good, dude. Like, it was the prime. Lobo, it was the prime, and I was there for that. I'm 35, and I remember watching all that. Okay. You might not remember, I met you at Survivor, OPW Survivor of the Sickest. I think it was OPW Survivor of the Sickest. I posted a video today. I was pretty, I was pretty hammered. I needed a couple beers. Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember. We had a good conversation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I took care of my father. You told me how you oh, took yeah, care of yeah. your father. And I just was saying, it's one man to another. Yeah. As you take care of your father, you pop yeah. somewhere after that. Yeah, he's, he's sick. Well, he's yeah, yeah but you're taking care of him as a one man. That's a man that gave you life. And you yeah. can't yeah. do that, dude. I ultimately respect him for that, dude. I just yeah. seen you again tonight, dude. I fucking love you. Yeah. 42 yeah. years old, baby. Dude, fucking love you, man. I'll shape. I'll get there, man. Hey, man. Yeah. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. Thanks, man. I love you. I appreciate the man, man. I appreciate that, man. Thank you, man. You're the man, dude. You're a good dude, man. And all the young guys respect this man. Yeah. 
Because they all know. They all know fucking Nick. They all know. Like, like Nick Gage, but I'm like, yo, you guys know about fucking Nick? Fucking hate shit? No, like, fuck. A lot of the youth do not know who you are. Because when you were at Survivor Circus, they were just like, who's that guy? I was like, did you know who that guy? just like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And I kept there, I was like, what? New like, fans, new fans. Yeah, man. which is awesome though, because it was like yeah, I, love it. 15, I love it. I got I actually the last couple of months I realized I got a new new fan base. Well, I think they're sure, watching the old. Animal. I'm gonna make sure I can get as many new fans onto you. I can introduce them to some of these younger guys that they came here. One one guy, this guy Jay, came here with me tonight. He helped me out with his camera. He wants to train at the club. He's 21. I think he knows who you are, but at the same time, it's like, what's his name? His name's Jay, he's a young kid, he's 21, he wants to do this shit, so. And you know how, like, homicide and game Yeah, yeah it's nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I plan on coming up. I need to get uh, my ring card here. Yeah, that's just, that's just, that's just, he doesn't like to come, man. We would have just hang out. I've only wrestled, like, you know, 10 times in the last five years, so, I mean. <laughs> Went from uh, Dude, wrestling there a couple yeah. times every day to yeah. that. Like I said, I'm gonna repeat myself over and again. Guys, respect this fucking man. Fucking hate club for fucking life, dude. Early Zandig, CZW, shit. Thank you, man. And GCW's doing it again all over again. Yeah, yeah, baby. And with Nick and Brett and all them, you know, it's it's, it's, it's gonna be something else. Yeah, man. I think they're gonna get another swing going. So oh, yeah. We're, another streak it's of a up. very fast growing company. Yeah, man. I hope so. I hope we keep going. I think they will. Well, you have a happy All right, thanks a lot, man. I appreciate it, man. Thanks and for much coming respect out. to you, bro. Thanks for coming out, man. Take it easy, guys. This gentleman here, what is your name in the ring? Uh, Jordan Oliver. I was impressed with you. You did a great job tonight. Thank and not you. only that, but you helped me out with this stuff. You know, you got to pay your dues and shit. But he's the reason why this is here. He helped me out with that. And uh, I hope it worked out for the locker room, right, man. Dude, I look forward to uh, seeing you in the future, man. Thank you. Oh, I'm fat as fuck. I eat that. Jeff Cannibal here. Actually fat as fuck. You and me? Yeah, look. I thought you were holding the camera. You know, why are you so red? Ew. Very red. It's because my wife beats me. <laughs> How's it taste? What is that? What is that anyway? The chicken shish kebab. Who made this? I have no idea, but I'm loving it. The last time I saw you, Maria Maddox was popping a pimple on my video for you. I was like, what? And she's like, I'll eat that pimple. I was like, yeah, she was gonna suck it off my face. Yeah, I was like, all right, uh, backstage, Maria's gonna pop kids' zit here. Uh, there we go. Look at that. Pus. Ooh, you wipe nice it, okay? Yeah, you gotta wipe that. it though. Ooh. Especially like, ladies. I don't ladies. wipe the pus. I pop the zit. <laughs> I will eat the pus. I just. Hold on, I gotta change this battery pack. I have a little bra on, so I think my nips are a little bit. <laughs> Maria, Maria, we love the hardcore stuff, but don't don't say you want to eat kids. It's pus. Nipple yeah. Well, you're gonna do that. Do it in a private setting where you and I can agree that, like, all right, I'm gonna exchange money for this. Yes, yeah, so and where I can set up a couple hidden GoPros and post it on the internet and get profit from this because Precisely. people would rub one out for that. You know, it's, exactly. It's, it's true. Industry today, it's you know? basically a custom. I gotta go get my account, the GoPro I have in the toilet right here for all the people that were pooping in all those buttholes. It's you know? a fetish. Yeah, it, it is. It's weird. I'm not into it, but if people are, I'm, I'm, I'm in. I'm, oh. I mean, whoa, whoa, wait, 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 was it I want to kill myself. <laughs> well, but make sure you, you don't do it until after the New Year. Your eyes are all teary. You're, uh, yep. You're, you're good to go. You'll be fine. You'll yeah. be fine. Happy New Year. Yo. Oh, thank you. Run the lay on the table. Look at the chocolate milks. Hey. Hey. I've done a couple uppers. I've done a couple <laughs> uppers. But nothing compares to these blue and yellow purple pills. <laughs> That's uh, Eminem and uh, what's That's the other? D12. D12, yes! Love that song. Hold that right there, right? Alright, I'm we'll gonna go over there and punch Jeff Cannibal in the dick. I promise, Jeff, it'll be very light. Guys, can I come through real quick, real quick? Come on. That's all good. You're good. Ah, oh, dude. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, what's wrong with you? Jeff, I hate your channel. Hold oh, no, on, no, no. <laughs> 
I love you there, brother. Love you too, Happy man. New Year, man. Happy New Year. See, Jeff let me lightly touch his cock, and it, it, you know, he's got a big dick, dude. I, like, barely touch it. like, fuck, man. It's like a tear. Good for you, girl. Maybe it's being compared Cut. to hers. Well, at least we all know that <laughs> you made contact with said cock, so that means that Jeff doesn't have a dicky dick. And what a dicky do is... Your stomach sticks out more than your dicky do. Yo, I'm having a problem these days. Like, when I look down and I try to, like, you ever trim up your pubis a little bit, your pubis? Yeah. I can't. I can't see it anymore. It's like, it's sad. I'm Irish, dude. I haven't seen it in years. I, I can't even cut my own goddamn toenails. They're, like, piss so on my balls. Oh, piss off. Dick so little, you probably piss on your balls. It's like a cascade of water. <laughs> True. Uh, yo, happy new year, man. Happy Congratulations being still the oh, champ. Thank you. Thank you. I mean, uh, Pelly Pruitt did talk a lot of shit, but I was, you know, yo, I where, kill him a kind. Wear that shit in the kitchen and just like, hits hard as shit. I want to see you without any clothes on, wearing that belt, just sitting there, covering your junk, though, of course. Well, and just, name with the isotoner please, phone. please just do that for me. Well, I mean, we'll do Tron there. We'll, we'll figure it out. What, you mean to show Michael's Playgirl? <laughs> <Please. laughs> I'm just a sexy boy, sexy boy. You have to get, you know, really, really, really fucking charged playing with the uh, chest hair so the pros won't put my abs in. Hey man, if you need any help, if you need any help waxing that chest, man, I'll be willing to help. Wax, shave it, yeah, wax and shave it. You know. You're touching men's penises. You're helping. Hey, wax hey, chests. it's not gay unless you enjoy it. It's a job. I mean, twenty dollars is twenty dollars. It's a job. I job all the time, man. <laughs> job tonight. I didn't make a dime, and I had like four cameras rolling, and this may help me out. You know that ceiling cam mount, though. Yo, it's gonna look beautiful. Oh, dude. the skeletons in said closets. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go drink more. Let's get out of here. Someone, I think. You wanted a beer? Please. You gotta beat up Jimmy. He took the last three. I'll go find him and ask I only him. brought ten with me tonight. I didn't buy a thirty pack. Yeah, that's right. Thanks for reminding me that, Jake. Jimmy took all my fucking beer. Yeah. Beast wanted a beer. It's all gone. Well, you did drink well, how many? But it's also Jimmy. Jimmy's not old enough to drink. He just he just grabs the beers for all his friends. If anything. He, yeah, he doesn't he really drink on him. But no, but, well, Jimmy doesn't drink though. He just wants to hand them out to all his friends. That's what he says. I'm gonna give all these beers out to my friends. <laughs> all right, here's Brett Lauderdale. Hey man, Brett. Brett, you used to be a referee. Remember that time I threw a chair at you at CZW and hit you? <laughs> no, that happened. Yeah, you what? Where was it? You got thirty. Look at you, wrong big fucking motherfucker. It was Christmas. Man, your grandma paid you, you good. Dana, you know Dana over yeah. there. Tell her I sent you over and paid for two front row tickets for Howell, seventy dollars a day change. All right, we're gonna cut. If I have to go back to our previous Facebook messages, it was one tournament of death when uh, the man that works for uh, WWE or NXT is a referee now. What's his name again? Drew. Drake. I'm sorry, I apologize, Drake. I drank a lot. But uh, remember, I threw a chair at you by accident. It was pretty fun. You're gonna teach it. Oh, I'm gonna have to go back. We'll have to go past. I need the footage. It's on the DVD. <laughs> but no, I was where did it hit me? In the back. <laughs> I what did I do? You were just laughing. <laughs> yeah, you were, the baby came up to me. He's like, get the fuck out of here. I was like, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. And he shoved me and got out. Like, no. Yeah. Well, he doesn't do it. He's not going to do it. No, might, I'm, you're lucky he didn't call the cops on you. Know? That's what he does. It was the main event. We, I know. I heard. He's a cop. Well, man, there's a lot of immigrants here tonight. I mean, you should deport. They, he may even deport everybody, dude. You know. <laughs> Brett, fucking love the show tonight. Thank you. Enjoy going to go the new year and uh, keep in tune with GCW, man. Just remember, who thought this little CCW referee here would be doing this? Right who thought now? this little piece of shit? Yeah, right? sir. No, seriously, man. Look at this. It's like, who'd have thought that you'd be doing this right now? He knows his fucking deal. And he's doing a good job doing it with Danny with him there, and of course Jimmy, Nick. Okay, this is the real. I ain't gonna breathe. Time to rest. Jimmy. What's up? How are we gonna celebrate your birthday? You're not old enough to drink at your birthday, though. I know, but everybody well, else can. But, yeah, exactly, man. So. Yeah, it's gonna be a good time. I think I have a lot of fucking crazy shit going yes. down. So. Oh, we're gonna have fun, and I yeah. promise you I'll bring all the cameras there and get it all on video. Dude. Awesome, thank you. Dude. And then next year, from the 21st, we're gonna get you fucked up. Oh, yeah, and that, it, it, yeah. <laughs> there's gonna be another one, I bet. We're gonna have to have you. The 21st is you're gonna, gonna get have fucking to have crazy. A, a ladder match with a bottle of booze at the top of that ladder against somebody. Maybe I, bring back the drunken scaffold match? Yes, yes. I like the way you think, dude. Awesome. You are the youngest upcoming wrestler out here today, and you're proving yourself all the time. You and Jeff Cannibal killed it, dude. Thank you, dude, thank you. You enjoy going to the fucking year, and I fucking love you, bro. Thank you, dude. We're, we're gonna go see what Slack's up to. Hold on. Fucking be homicide.
No God! Holy shit! Yes! Greatest video ever! Thank you, Slack. Happy fucking New Year. Better upload this shit. Danny. Yeah. Ah, oh, fuck. You just stuck the camera right in my face. That I want to say, enjoy going to the New Year. And I love seeing you back in the ring, dude. Thanks, dude. And, uh, we love this compound, right? Yeah, dude. Fuck yeah, dude. Summertime, this place is gonna be awesome. We're gonna be barbecuing, <laughs> fucking giving fans what they want to fucking see in this place. You already did tonight, so I love you, brother. Love you and Brad are doing a good thing here, man. You take I hate care your, of you. I hate your sweatshirt, dude. I'm looking at Eagles. What? Oh yeah, you're a Cowboys for life, uh, all right, all right, I gotta go. Bye, Danny. Before I go, I have to squeeze one more booty. I have to squeeze a booty before I go. Wait, oh. There it is. Jeff Cannonball, Flaming Table, guys. Get on his YouTube channel. Please do. Love you. Go. you Enjoy Love going you. in the air. You and Tara. Love you guys. Most people are waiting in their cars because it's too fucking cold out here. What's going on everyone? Today is uh, December 30th, 2017. We're at GCW The Compound for the first time. My man Jake over here is helping me out with some GoPro shit. We got it up there on the ceiling. There it is. Trial and error stuff. We're a little off. We had to rush to do it. It's a little crooked. I can render it. I got my camera up there for the locker room. It needs room. It to be perfect. Yeah, I'm, it needs a, to be perfect. I'm a perfectionist. Nothing's ever perfect. And you know, five minutes of time. So, But yeah, GCW Compound, Fight Club Volume 1. I got people over here hassling me, giving me a hard time. But uh, if you ain't here, you're missing the fuck out. This show's gonna be awesome. Hate Club is coming back tonight. Stay tuned. It's a storm of entrance. Yes. I think they're gonna win. Yeah, dude. And I, a little sneak peek, there's like eight doors under that fucking ring. So stay tuned. Yo, I had to end the ring. What do you want? Let me put your entrance. Right? <laughs> yeah. Alright, let's do this, boys. Alright. For the holidays. Oh, yeah. Happy fucking New Year, everybody, man. Happy New Year. This is my New Year's Eve because I got kids. I ain't going fucking anywhere it's tomorrow. It's the same thing with me. I'm stuck with yeah, you. So this is our New Year's Eve tonight. We're going to enjoy ourselves. Get out. <laughs> All right, we'll, we'll be back. We're coming back. Taking a piss before the show, and there is no lock on the bathroom. Luckily, uh, Nick Gage's wifey is over there blocking the door. If I have to drop a deuce, that would be brutal. All these men here doing deathmatch wrestling. No one can put the fucking lock on. You know what it is. I can't forget to get my man Stalford right here before the show starts, man. We saw him. Yeah, yeah, bro. What? No. Uh, what? So Jake's GoPro shut off. We need Stalfers in there busting around. He's gonna hit record for that ceiling mount. Just don't hit the camera or the ceiling. Thing. Don't hit. Uh, and then you just gotta hit the red button. Just the red button. On the camera. Red button beside it. Is that it? I'm trying. It's gonna take a second. What does it say? It might be recording. Does the red mean record or is it just say it should be recording? What's the other side? You see on the numbers? Other side. On the front. On the front. front. Come on, stop over here. <laughs> should it say record? Is it? Alright, alright, you're good. Leave it. Thank you, Stauffer. He said his, his heart's like beating. I got him all. Yeah, I like a panic attack. <laughs> I'm sorry. Dude. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm not good with crowds. Well, you know how Brett gets. It's crazy. He'll fucking flip the fuck out. Well, this footage. <laughs> we'll be uh, you're welcome. Okay. Yeah, you're fucking welcome. welcome. I'm free of charge, asshole. Listen, I told TJ four times the camera's fucky. <laughs> it, it's good though. It's it good wouldn't though. let okay. me connect. The battery died in the heart. Another minor complication. The camera wasn't plugged in, so the battery died. But now it's plugged in. The other one up there. Battery died. All right, I think the show's going to start in a moment here. All right, we got a pretty packed house for the first show here at the compound again. Here we go. There's Louie. Let's get everybody coming in. We got a hard game going. We got Smart Mark here. We got a GoPro. We got full coverage here today.
Oh, 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 oh shit. shit. Cat Dave wearing both of them. CZW ain't going to the car, pal. Be having this building with a guy like this right here, I would say that would, that would never happen. Now I look where we're at. Yeah, GCW! 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 And this is all possible for people like you. I tell you, if it wasn't for the fans, I wouldn't have shit. GCW wouldn't have shit. We wouldn't have the compound. So for me to you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I said thank you. You better be fucking loud tonight. Yeah. 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 All right. You're great. I don't speak sad, man. Yeah. Uh, I would say it's been a long road, but because of you guys, it's actually been happening pretty quick. We started from the bottom. Now we're here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you everybody for coming out tonight. Be the usual GCW fans that you are. And um, let's have some fun. Homicide! Homicide!
thought he was going to get him all the way up. Well, he might still. Oh, he's got Andy. Oh, man. Grab the eyes.
out, boy. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of this contest and still on Punk Wrestling's heavyweight champion, Drew Blood. Yeah, Drew. Great match, boys. Even though they talk a lot of good shit on the internet, wow, they're talking to a son of a bitch. Thank you. All point! All point! All point! All point! You get all point, guys. January 13th, right here in the compound. James and Summers. And be the power of peace. Yeah! yeah. We'll be there. Uh, I'm familiar with your work, brother. And be sure to me not. I'm bringing everything I freaking got. Because I'm dying for that who's just fucking trying. Yeah, yeah true. <laughs> <laughs> sure you failed on that little community over there. <laughs> yeah, true. I love how everybody always insists to Stalford to do things. It's just like, Stalford! He always does. Yeah, I know, he's a good man. I <laughs> love it. Following this family jersey, all pro wrestling, heavyweight championship. I mean a dick stuff.
figure it out. I'll talk to you after this match.
Now that's a flask. Yes, sir. <laughs> a fucking canteen. Jesus. GC love. Film the ring, boy. Now I'm in control. Yeah. Here, film the ring for me. Hey. Oh. The best part is we got two cameras and we still got one extra. We don't need to worry about this. <laughs> ceiling on that part. <laughs> Oh, fuck. Oh. Foxy! 
struggle is real, bro. By the way, the Flaming Table guy. YouTube channel called the Flaming Table. Get on there, man. 
Low Life Lou was on there the other day. I watched it while I was drinking some beers. Love it. Cat lady. Cat lady. <laughs>
get that DVD made. Smart Mark will be editing it. information who cares we're having fun tonight though man dcw compound fight club volume one first of i see elisa shows here man the fan base ain't going anywhere like i said this boy is talented dude I've seen some of his videos on youtube
It's going to take a lot more to bring down Kyle to beast, man. thumbtack in the shoe. I have so many thumbtacks in my shoes still. I'm pretty sure if I look down there right now that I still have some. I'm sure there's somewhere in there. Are there any tacks in there? Yeah, you got four. Yeah, we know. That's how you know you've been to shows. Check my shoes. If you've been to shows, deathmatch shows, you're always going to have tacks in your shoes. No count outs at GCW. It'll never happen. That's just wasted talent when you do a count out, man. Especially with these two guys. You'll never see that happen, man. Come on, Beats! Punch to the ass. Oh. Oh. 
I said, every time I see him, he improves more and more. Over a year ago, he couldn't even do anything like that. Look at him now. This man's got huge potential in this industry. Anytime you can see a man in the ring that's high flying as big as he is, I am always amazed, man. That's awesome. know the show. I'm already going to fucking be there, dude. That's Scott motherfucking song. I wasn't there for that match, but I watched it on the internet, and the curb stop on it was so brutal, 50 man. minutes. Yes, no dude. We're going to be there, dude, here. Enter the compound, right? Fuck yeah, dude. I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing OPW in a new environment, dude. It's going to be awesome. Captain Dave, we're going to have to get Stalford to get you new gear, man. We're going to have to get rid of hey, CZW. We're going to get you a, a GCW jacket and hat. Hey, we're going to make that the goal for the next show. You're going to have to get that. Are you okay with that? Yeah, I'm okay all right, with all that, right I'm going to talk with Stalford. We're going to do that, okay? Right, you saw Gage was eyeing you down. He said, oh, I don't yeah. like that. Yeah. He was pissed. Wait, <laughs> with the hat, too? Yeah, he didn't like it. Uh, yeah, but you got to get the, you gotta get do the you. hat and uh, you got to get the It's cheese. all right, though. It was all, you know, Zandy CCW, but nowadays we got we got to get you we got to get you decked out. Yeah, I know. I want to make note, Brett, we won't have to do this in the future. His battery, it, it disconnected. We lost the Wi-Fi signal, so. This will only be a one-time thing in the beginning, and that's it. We'll never have to do this again. But it's trial and error, man. He's got it. Jake, you got it? So we're good. It's recording. Is it flashing? It's not flashing red though. So did it just hit record now, get it over with. Because you got plenty of memory on there, right? Yeah. You have a 128 gigabyte card, right? Alright, yeah, let it go. There you go, that a boy. And we got at least two hours on there, right? Yeah. Ah, oh, we're perfect. Ah, piss break in the snow. I hope I don't piss on this whole electric thing because I will get electrocuted. Now that it's not happening to me before, we might have food later. Yeah, have fun. It's going to be brawling. It's going to be violence. So please be mindful of your surroundings. This is not the parental learning. Please be careful. The next three matches are going to be Everything around you as the next three matches take place while Rick Crew is getting the ring 
tired? Yeah. Good? Yeah. TJ and Fred. If you want to go talk to Schlack, go talk to Schlack. But he's busy. <laughs> oh my Come God. On, take a walk. <laughs> look, at, look at Brett beating pissed. I know. Oh, wait, wait. No, no, no. I don't want you in here. I want Lyle. Wait, Let's wait, go. what? Nope, oh, nope. Oh. Just want Lyle. <laughs> nope. Lyle, what's going on, man? I'm here. Lyle, you ready to go into the new year? Uh, I got no choice, so I got to. Yeah, you know, what are you doing tomorrow? Are you partying? Tomorrow? I have no idea. It might be a last minute thing, or I'll just stay home and watch the ball drop with Ryan Seacrest. Oh. <laughs> that tells you how bad my night's going to be. Well, me and my girl, we plan on not going into the year. We're not going out because we have kids this year, but I told her, I said, we should just fuck until, like, the ball drops. We'll just go into the new year fucking, right? Whatever <laughs> All I know is I want to see Stockade come here and steal your coat. <laughs> That's yes. all I want to see. I love the dude. When he did it, I was like, no! <laughs> I watched the video. <laughs> I was like, no! You actually put the camera right on me as I was laughing at you. Yeah, me. dude. Oh, it's good times, dude. Well, I fucking love you, man. Yeah. Oh. Got him on me! being beat the fuck down. I am concerned. Jesus, look at little man, oh yo. Holy shit. Yo, yo he's making his father proud right now. Holy shit, he's beating him so good. Yeah. Hi, Danny. Hello, how are you? <laughs> Yo, you snagged my beer good, dude. Yeah, you drank that shit, didn't you? He gave mine, he's like, yup, mine. <laughs> he did, he like grabbed the fruit. He's known for that. Sneaky, sneaky. I'm stuck in. I'm having a good time. Lyle's been around taking photos. I'm actually relaxing tonight. Good. I wanted to check the place out because I. I didn't know it was this big. Yeah, I, I was only here one night with them just to check it out. And it is like 40% bigger. You, get, you can get like three three rows yeah. of chairs if you want to get them up to the ring. No problem shooting here. I'm starting to see that. It's nice. gonna be, the summertime, this place is going to be awesome to be at, dude. And I don't know if you know, you know they're, they're going to be losing the game changer wrestling venue over there now. That's what I was figuring out. Yeah. Yeah. But no, this is a nice, this is a nice size, people. And I think if you get enough people in there every time, it's perfect. You don't need to have like four or five hundred people. And we'll see. Uh, at On Point, we'll probably put a lot of people in here. Oh, yeah. Uh, on House Point on the 13th. It's going to work out. It's going to be great. All right, I'm going to get out of the way. Catch you later, man. Happy New Year, brother. We'll see me again. Yeah, I will. I just want to first of all thank you. Love you, man. Dude, seriously, man. If you go pro, I don't have it, man. Surprise. GCW, all that. Remember, I'm sorry it fucked up a couple times. No, it came out good. It's, it's good, man. And he's going to train one day. And we're going to give it One day, next month. Please don't. Yeah, please. Just please come train with that. You got potential. You're still young. to do it, but I'm going to crop it and balance it so it's more evened out. You get all four turnbuckles, man. It's the most important part. So thank you, Jake, for letting us use your uh, GoPro here. Awesome. Staff going hard over here. Remember, the next three matches will be bloody. As you see, the canvas has been switched. And you see it's already in bloody messes it is. So these are going to be bloody matches, guys. Stay tuned. That's why we're here. Alright everybody, I just changed the batter. We've got the crew over here, man. Subterranean violence crew. Yes. <laughs> um, just changed the battery. Louis in there with his four loco. As you can see, the canvas is bloody as fuck, so this means the next matches. If not all three, at least two, maybe one, there are gonna be bloody, and it's 
as Louis gave that warning, stay the fuck away from the ring. Let's go. Louis's not drinking for loco. Louis! Louis! What are you drinking? Steel Reserve! Yeah! <laughs> My man! Me too, but it's in a Coca Cola can. Yeah, Jimmy fucking Lloyd! Woo! Yeah, Jimmy! Yeah! I fucking love that kid, man. Guys, better be here for his, I'm his, older than his birthday party in February. Yeah, you are older. He's only 20. He's not even 21, and it's BYFB. Of course, Jimmy will not be drinking during this party, but we will all be drinking. Love this boy. He has proved himself more than anybody so quickly and so young. Jimmy fucking Lloyd! Jimmy fucking Lloyd! Jimmy fucking Lloyd! Jimmy fucking Lloyd! And I'm so thankful that Cannonball is back in DCW because he is the fucking man, dude. Good man, fight, and get bloody as fuck. And these two are gonna tear the house down, dude. We're just gonna roll, man, with a new battery. Hopefully that GoPro can do some work. Can you touch my penis? <laughs> yeah, sure, just help yourself, fuck face. Thank you. <laughs> now you. This is going to be awesome. Buddy, that canvas up even more. Yeah, that fucking arm, man. Cannonball's arm. It's from Subterranean. Yeah. Oh. Jimmy getting a hammer wet. Reversal. Oh. Yeah, look at that. Oh, Cannibal goes face first into that chair. Jimmy fucking Lloyd. Jimmy fucking Lloyd. Jimmy fucking Lloyd. Oh, Cannibal. Oh, shit, right in front of me. Yeah, water border. Use this. It's whiskey. <laughs> it's even better. Use it. Use the whiskey. He's not legal. Yeah, water border. <laughs> I fucking love. I love this company, and I love Jeff Cannibal and Jimmy Lord. So that from Andrew. I wish you were here tonight, buddy. Jimmy's not 21, though. He's not, Jimmy's not 21, though. He's not allowed to have whiskey. He's not allowed. He's going to get in trouble. He's waterboarding, and he could, he could go to jail. <laughs> GC 
G-C-Dub! G-C-Dub! Fuck their battle! Bring it over here! Can't get that DVD! Look at Gary right up in there! Gary's about to get hit with a chair! Gary's like, get me the fuck out of here! Fuck! G-C-Dub! 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 So nice to see these. Oh! Oh! Companies working together. Unlike so many other parts of the world, I wish IWA and South would work together. This is great. Ow, you throwing a shoe at me, you fuckface? I don't know him. No shoe for you. over there bloodying up Jimmy. That Christmas tree is here from the last the last GCW show. Still covered in barbed wire. This shit's making me angry at 6%. Stop drinking it! <laughs> you gotta take care of your brother or he's gonna be taking care of you. <laughs> Use the tree! 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 Jimmy's there, right? Remember, get that smart bar. Gary's right in there. GC Dunn! Jimmy over here beating Cannibal. Over here! Rags! I love these two. <laughs> Fucking love these two. Jimmy fucking Lloyd! 
Jimmy fucking Lloyd! Jimmy fucking Lloyd! Jimmy fucking Lloyd! Jimmy fucking Lloyd! Light on fire! Fire! <laughs>
fucking love this shit. I love professional wrestling. It's so good. But I love this professional wrestling right here. GC Dub! GC Dub! GC Dub! GC Dub! I mean, I wasn't even gonna talk, but Rudy announced him as representing GCW. Oh! But I remember Brandon Kirk missing the last show because he was in Disney World. We 
Kurt. Yeah, right? Main event will have a way to do it. Main event with hate club. Doors and trails. It didn't look like that was in there. Slack in here. Nate Hatred and Nick Gage will be bringing light tubes to the main event. I guarantee it. I saw him under the ring. I saw him outside and under the ring. Oh, fuck, right in this injury. Let us do that one night. We're gonna talk about that, Nick. Because we don't ever want to disrespect. Because you'll kill us. <laughs> oh! This is gonna be something to see. The last one's gonna be hard to beat. Dude, I don't know, man. This is fucking awesome, too. Yeah! The door is a jar. <laughs> what? My rich friends, their parents' car used to have a car that would say that. They'd say the door is a jar. And then it was open. I don't know. I thought it was a jar. 
I like both these guys. Uh, I'm gonna try to raise this camera here because I'm fat. It's hard to hold the camera. We'll get the shot for you, Danny. Let's do it. Keep it so low, but it's hard to hold it up there. I'm lazy as fuck. See, what did I say? The chair broke. That's why I don't stand on. I got that metal chair, man. Cause I'm fat as fuck. 275, man. I'll break the shit. I'm a huge fat ass. I used to weigh 180 back when I was like 22. When I was your age. <laughs> Some Danny. Fighting for. You said it again! It's funny. I'm sorry, it's hilarious. It's my video. I get paid for this shit. I'm enjoying myself. No! No! Finish that motherfucker! GC Dub! GC Dub! GC Dub! GC Dub! GC Dub! GC Dub! Look out, Danny! Finish him, man!
Back then they had the Avery Vickers ring and wrestled the man that I remember was a man, Brandon Kirk. Hey, Brandon. I don't give a shit what this means to you, because it means to me. You are the future of this. Definitely. I, I see a lot of great things in you. You gotta stop being a little bit pussy with your girlfriend. <laughs> you wanna stop hanging out with pussies? Like, <laughs> I've watched you since you were a kid, and you sucked, you're not as bad anymore, <laughs> and I want to shake your hand in the middle of the ring, in the middle of the GCW ring, in front of the best fucking fans in the fucking world. GCW! 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 GCW!
too. Yeah. Stoffer, Stoffer. Give this to Sandra. Give it to her. She's by the bathroom. I got you. Our man's in the ring right now. We're gonna film this shit. We're gonna do it up. We got Meg Patterson on, dude. Meg Smart Marks here. 
It's captured, baby. We're gonna get this shit streamed live, dude. I promise you. I think for Jimmy Lewis' birthday, we're gonna stream it live. Time over Europe and other parts too. Australia, even where like GCW is where it's at.
You the man. I, got fucking I love you. Face. Thank you. <laughs> you got punched in your dick? He went, no, he went like this to me as he ran into the guy. Yeah, later. Yeah. Hold, hold. Just hold, just hold it for me. I want to see Schlack and Nick. It's gonna happen. No, Schlack and Marcus Crane is gonna be fucking insane. It's happening. Nick's the champion. Marcus Crane is coming for that shit. I know he is. No, put it behind you, it's fine. Oh, this is gonna be brutal. Park has yes, got it. Kill. Oh, oh my god. I know, I'm killing you. I had to pull my pants off. <laughs> Yes, I mean, good job. Yeah, good job. Oh, <laughs> 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 
Watson
the kill game. Look. All day, man. First day, I'm gonna get out my chest. If guys might fuck the witness, me and Shrek are gonna go real and run to somebody fucking dies. Yeah. I swear to God, Shrek, I'm gonna show you and the people I already know why I am the best motherfucking wrestler in the world today. Here, step your game up and get out of our fucking territory. Cause our locker room's fucking solid as shit. All tough ass workers will fucking die for this business. Fucking pussy. Yeah, I'm talking to you. Don't fucking type shit. See me in person and find out how fucking tough I am. Shots fired all fucking day. Does someone kills me or shuts me the fuck up? Shot call is a cop call. Can I say Nick is a fan? <laughs> See you in the club, TV. back in the fucking ring together? Yeah, as it should be. Fuck yeah, dude. It's fucking be. made my fucking night, dude. Happy fucking New Year, dude. Listen, man, you bro. Listen, man, I'm a real motherfucker. So when I get back home, I put my friends back fucking on. That's why I'm a real motherfucker. 20 motherfucking years. So when they kick them out of that we fucking company disrupt. and no one fucking uses them, I come home, I set up shop, I bust my ass and I put my friends back on. That's what the fuck I do. I've been away seven fucking years, I come, I go right back to the fucking top. So I work my ass off and I keep it real. And if you fucking pussies don't watch TJ and Friends, I'm gonna send Danny Havoc to your fucking house. You know what he'll do? He'll probably fuck your mom and your sister while you're watching. Swag, my man, dude. I fucking love it, dude. I fucking love you guys. 
Guys, as a fan, fucking love y'all. Thank you for tonight, man. Awesome. Best New Year's Eve of New Year's Eve present ever for, for me. I love it. Thank you. Danny, you're really gonna come by and fuck my girlfriend and do some crazy stuff. Yeah. I mean, if that's what Nick says, that's what I gotta do. Let's but, but what if I just offer you like a bottle of whiskey? We, we straight, right? He is at the top of this game, and I have to defer to what he says. So, I mean, listen, it's, it's shit going right downhill. I'm at the bottom of the total pool, bro. But I don't want to move. Please don't come by and do what I don't want to fuck your girlfriend. I don't want to hurt your family. But if I gotta do that, I gotta do that. What do you want me to say? You want to have a little swig of the whiskey with me? I did like hours ago. I've been oh, you did? Have you flagged you down across? I was like, did hey, you, did you find my cool guy that I know? You did? Yeah. You know oh, oh, I'll find it now. Off camera too, whatever. I'll go find it. Uh, well, I wish you were retired today. Neat. I've been watching this shit since like Xandix season. Oh, season yeah, one Xandix season of the early 2000s. Right, 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 right. The hate club feuds with like Nick Mondo, you know, fucking just, it was so good, dude. dude like, it was the prime. Lobo, it was, it was the prime, and I was there for that. I'm 35, and I remember watching all that. Okay. You might not remember, I met you at Survivor, OPW Survivor the Sickest. I think it was OPW Survivor the Sickest. I posted a video the day. I was pretty, I was pretty hammered. I needed a couple beers. Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember. We had a good conversation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I took care of my father. You told me how you oh, yeah, take care of your father. And I just was saying, it's one man to another. Yeah. As you take care of your father, you pop something around for that. Yeah, he's... He's sick, but he's yeah. getting Yeah, but you're taking care of him as a woman, and that's a man that gave you life. And yeah, it's really do that, dude. I ultimately I appreciate that. For that dude. Yeah. I just yeah. seen you again tonight, dude. I fucking love you. Yeah, 42 years old, baby. Dude, dude fucking love you, man. I'm out of shape, but I'll get there, man. Hey, man. Yeah. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. Thanks, man. I always appreciate the band, man. I appreciate that, man. Thank you, man. You're the man, dude. You're a good dude, man. And all the young guys respect this man. Yeah. Cause they all know, they all know fucking Nick. They all are like, like Nick Gage, but I'm like, yo, you guys know about fucking Nick, fucking Nick? There's a lot of you do not, they do not know who you are. Cause when you were at, at Survivor Circus, they were just like, who's that guy? I was like, did you know who he was? just like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And I kept there, I was like, what? New like, fans, new fans. Yeah, man. which is awesome though, cause it was like, yeah, I love it. I love it. I got, actually, the last couple of months I realized that I knew, knew the fan base. Cool. Cool. I I'm, gonna gonna sure, old I'm gonna make sure I can get as many new fans onto you. I can introduce some, some of these younger guys that they came here. One one guy, this guy Jay, came here with me tonight. He helped me out with his camera. He wants to train at the club. He's 21. I think he knows who you are, but at the same time, it's like, what's his name? His name's Jay. He's a young kid. He's 21. He wants to do this shit. So and you know how like homicide and game yeah, yeah, it's nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm playing on coming up. I need to get a uh, ring card here. Yeah, he doesn't like the call, man. We were just hanging out. I've only wrestled like you know, ten times in the last five years, so I mean. <laughs> Went from uh, wrestling there a couple of times every day to that. Like I said, I'm gonna repeat myself over and again. Guys, respect this fucking man. Fucking Thank hate you. club for fucking life, dude. Early Zandig, CZW. Shit. You, man. And GCW's doing it again all over again. Yeah, baby. And with Nick and Brett and all them, you know, it's, it's, it's gonna be something else. Yeah, man. I think they're gonna get another swing going. So. Oh, yeah. We're, another streak it's of a home. very fast growing company. Yeah, man. I hope so. I hope we keep going. I think they will. Well, you have a happy All right, company. thanks a lot, man. I appreciate it, man. Thanks and for much coming respect. out. Thanks for coming out, man. Take it easy, guys. By the way, this gentleman here, what is your name in the ring? Uh, Jordan Oliver. I was impressed with you. You did a great job tonight. Thank and you. not only that, but you helped me out with this stuff. You know, you got to pay your dues and shit. But he's the reason why this is here. He helped me out with that. And uh, I hope it worked out for the locker room, man. Dude, I look forward to uh, seeing you in the future, man. Thank you. Oh, I'm fat as fuck. I eat that. Jeff Cannibal here. Actually fat as fuck. You and me, yeah, look. I thought you were holding the camera. You know, why are you so red? Ew. Very red. It's because my wife beats me. <laughs> she gives me uh, those tummy, tummy taps, whatever. Just a bunch of smacks in the stomach. You and uh, Jimmy tore down. I was, I was very happy to see you guys. Thank you. I think it was first time singles match. Yeah, dude. I enjoyed it, man. And I know, right? I, I was thinking of the next. Have they ever faced off? No, never no. And you, dude, you guys did great, dude. Thank you. I appreciate you. I have probably like four days or so. That's why it's New Year's, so happy New Year's. Happy New Year's. Happy New Year's. This is my New Year's Eve because I have my kids and we're not going out tomorrow night. So. Fair, fair. I don't have plans because I'm bored. So. <laughs> Well, if you and Tara ever want to be like pretend to be mommy and daddy, they want to watch my kids and just <laughs> yeah, we'll come watch. Your kids. You go out and have fun. Fuck yeah! 
Alright, I was saying I gotta get that down, but uh Jake beat me to it. Yeah, Jake! Thank you! I was I thought I was gonna have to do that. Because <laughs> I didn't feel like it. <laughs> Jake, you want you wanna train? You should show them how you can fall from the top. No, I'm, I'm just kidding, don't do that. <laughs> Alright, we gotta get this camera down too. Let me get up there and get this. By the way, thank you for telling me that. You know what? Because yeah. it wasn't plugged directly into the wall. Oh, that's okay. why. Because I had it plugged in. I was like, what the fuck? Because it was saying like battery low. And I asked Kyle here, I said, hey, can you plug in that orange plug? And you did it, and that's why it worked. It wasn't plugged in. Somebody unplugged it. Awesome. my face. I don't know. Wait, you tell you, you tell me. No, I'm good. No, wait. By the way, as a fan, I become more and more impressed by you every time you get in the ring. I've been watching for like two years now. Thank you. you improve every time, dude. You're very acrobatic and big man too. Thank you, man. Me and Lyle agree all the time. Lousy Williams, you know Lousy Williams. Yeah. Okay. He knows. He's like, man, every time he gets in the ring, he impresses me every time. I was like, dude, me too. I was like, dude. You keep it up, beast. You keep it up, man. Thank you. Thank you. Hit. How's the taste? What is that? What is that anyway? The chicken shish kebab. Who made this? I have no idea, but I'm loving it. The last time I saw you, Maria Maddox was popping a pimple on my video for you. I was like, what? And she's like, I'll eat that pimple. I was like, yeah, she was going to suck it off my face. Yeah, I was like, wait. All right, uh, backstage, Maria's going to pop kids' zit here. Oh. There we go. Look at that. Pus. Ooh, you nice wipe it, okay? Yeah, you gotta wipe it though. Ooh. Especially like. Ladies. I don't ladies. wipe the pus. I pop the zip. It doesn't shlax. I'll eat the pus. <laughs> I will eat the well, pus. I just. Hold on, I gotta change this battery pack. I don't have a bra on, so I think my nips are a little bit. <laughs> Look, Maria, Maria, we love the hardcore stuff, but don't, don't say you want to eat kids. It's pus. Yeah. Wow. I mean, you're going to do that, do it in a private setting where yes. you and I can agree that, like, all right, I'm going to exchange money for this. Yeah, so where I can set up a couple hidden GoPros and post it on the internet and get profit from this. Because people nice. would rub one out for that. You know, it's, exactly. It's, it's an true. industry today. It's you know? basically a custom. i got to go get my account, the GoPro I have in the toilet right here for all the people that were pooping at all those buttholes. It's you know, a fetish. Yeah, it, it is. It's weird. I'm not into it, but if people are, I'm, I'm in it. Uh, oh. I mean, whoa, whoa, wait, 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 I'm just gonna leave the wires for them, but we gotta pause this. For those of you that see this raw footage, Happy New Year, and you can go fuck yourself and stick this middle finger right up your cunt. Show us your cunt. See if it's worth fighting for. Shit's going down with Cat and Dick so big when I shit it goes swimming. Shit, when I stand over the toilet and piss, my dick goes swimming. Nine zero two seven one nine zero two one zero seven one four. Oh fart! All right, Jeff Cannibal's over here doing his flaming table shit. Victim feels funny. Sauce. No, I'm not. No, I am not. Victim is right no. there. Oh. Hey. Uh, hello. How you doing? Uh. Was it I want to kill myself. <laughs> well, make sure you, you don't do it until after the new year. Your eyes are all teary. Uh, yep. You're, you're 
good to go. You'll be fine. You'll yeah. be fine. Happy New Year! Yo, oh, thank you. Run the lay on the table. Look at the chocolate helps. Hey. Hey. I've done a couple uppers. I've done a couple <laughs> but nothing compares to these blue and yellow purple pills. <laughs> That's uh, Eminem and uh, what's That's the other? D12. D12, yes! Love that song. Well, can we smoke in here? We're out here in the aftermath of the Goddamn Show. Go. One. Uh, it's a fucking shithole. Do you want to eat some hot sauce? No. No, yeah, no. no, I don't say me either, man. We should go over there and punch Jeff Cannibal in the Look, dick. Man. No, I'm gonna go. Wait, no, let me go punch Chef Cannon on um, the dick. No, can I just go do that real quick? Hold on. I've been dropped on my head a lot. Yeah. I've taken a lot of chair shots. I've done a lot of Which you have things that really would really mush the brain up even more. And I'm still not that stupid to put something that hot in <laughs> I'm gonna go punch Chef Cannon on the dick real quick. I'll be right back. You have to, you, you can hold that right there, right? Alright, I'm gonna go over there and punch Chef Cannon on the dick. I promise, Jeff, it'll be very light. Guys, can I come through real quick, real quick? Oh. That's all good. You're good. Ah, oh, dude. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, what's wrong with you? Jeff, I hate your channel. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> I love you, though, brother. I love you, too, Happy man. New Year, man. Happy New Year. See, Jeff let me lightly touch his cock, and it, it, you know, he's got a big dick, dude. I, like, barely touch it. like, fuck, man. It's like a terror. Good for you, girl. Maybe it's big compared Cut. to yours. Well, at least we all know that... <laughs> Make contact with said cock. So that means that Jeff doesn't have a dicky do. And what a dicky do is, your stomach sticks out more than your dicky do. Yo, I'm having a problem these days. Like, when I look down and I try to, like, you ever trim up your pubis a little bit, your pubis? Yeah. I can't. I can't see it anymore. It's like, it's sad. I'm Irish, dude. I'm, I'm, I haven't seen it I, I can't even cut my own goddamn toenails. They're, like, piss so on my balls. Oh, piss off. Dick so little, you probably piss on your balls. It's like a cascade of water. <laughs> True. Uh, yo, happy New Year, man. Uh, congratulations being still the oh, champ. Thank you. thank you. I mean, uh, Pelly Pruitt did talk a lot of shit, but I was, you know, yo, I kill him with kind of Wear that shit in the kitchen. Just yeah, like, hits hard as shit. I want to see you without any clothes on, wearing that belt. Just sit there, covering your junk, though, of course. Well, just, name the ice of please, please, please just do that. Versus. Versus. Well, I mean, we'll do try on there. We'll, we'll figure it out. Look me to show Michael's Playgirl. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just a sexy boy. Sexy boy. You have to get, you know. <laughs> Really, really, really fucking trying to play with the uh, chest hair so it grows a little more than I put my abs in. Hey, man, if you need any help, if you need any help waxing that chest, man, I'll be willing to help. Wax? Shave. Yeah, wax or shave it. You know. You're touching men's penises, you're helping. Hey, hey. Chests. It's not gay unless you enjoy it. It's a job. I mean, $20 is 20 It's a job. I job all the time, man. <laughs> I job tonight. I didn't make a dime, and I had like four cameras rolling, and this may help me out. You know that ceiling cam mount, though? Yo, it's gonna look beautiful. Oh, dude. the skeletons in said closets. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're gonna go drink more. Let's get out of here. Someone, I think. You wanted a beer? Please. You gotta beat up Jimmy. He took the last three. I'll go find him and ask I only him. brought 10 with me tonight. I didn't buy a 30 pack. Yeah, that's right. Thanks for reminding me of that, Jake. Jimmy took all my fucking beer. Yeah. Beast wanted a beer. It's all gone. Well, you did drink. Well, many? But it's also Jimmy. Jimmy's not old enough to drink. He just he just grabs the beers for all his friends. If anything. He, yeah, he doesn't he really the law drink on him. But not, but, well, well, Jimmy doesn't drink though. He just wants to hand them out to all his friends. That's what he says. I'm gonna give all these beers out to my friends. <laughs> all right. Here's Brett Lauderdale. Hey man, Brett. Brett, you used to be a referee. Remember that time I threw a chair at you at CZW and hit you? <laughs> no, that happened? Yeah, you don't, what? Where was it? You got 30. Look at you roll big fucking. Motherfucker, it was Christmas. Man, your grandma <laughs> paid you good. Dana, you know Dana over yeah. there? Tell her I sent you over and pay for two front row tickets for Howell, $70 in each All right, we're gonna cut. If I have to go back to our previous Facebook messages, it was one tournament of death when uh, the man that works for uh, WWE or NXT is a referee now. What's his name again? Drew? Drake. I'm sorry. I apologize, Drake. I drank a lot. But uh, remember I threw the chair at you by accident? It was pretty fun. You're going to teach it. I seriously don't know. Oh, I'm going to have to go back. We'll have to go past it. I need the footage. It's on the DVD. <laughs> but no, I was Where did it hit me? In the back. <laughs> What I did I do? You just laughed. I laughed? <laughs> yeah, baby came up to me, he's like, get the fuck out of here. I was like, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. And he shoved me and got out of there. No. 
Yeah. Well, he doesn't do it. He's not going to do it. You no. might, I'm, you're lucky you didn't call it cops on you. Know? That's what he does. It was the main event. We, I know. I heard. He's a cop. Well, man, there's a lot of immigrants here tonight. I mean, you should deport. They, he may even deport everybody, dude. You know. <laughs> Brent, fucking love the show tonight. Thank you. Enjoy, enjoy going to the New Year and uh, keep in tune with GCW, man. Just remember, who thought this little CCW referee here would be doing this? Right who thought now? this little piece of shit? Yeah, right? sir. No, seriously, man. Look at this. It's like, who'd have thought that you'd be doing this right now? He knows his fucking deal. And he's doing a good job doing it with Danny with him there, and of course Jimmy, Nick. Okay, this is the real. I ain't gonna breathe. Time to rest. Jimmy. What's up? How are we gonna celebrate your birthday? You're not old enough to drink at your birthday, though. I know, but everybody well, else can. But, yeah, exactly, man. So. Yeah, it's gonna be a good time. I think I have a lot of fucking crazy shit going yes. down. So. Well, we're gonna have fun, and I yeah. promise you I'll bring all the cameras there and get it all on video. Dude. Awesome, thank you. Dude. And then next year, from the 21st, we're gonna get you fucked up. Man. Yeah, and that, it, it, yeah. <laughs> there's gonna be another one, I bet. We're gonna have to have you. The 21st, you're gonna, gonna, gonna get have fucking to have crazy. A, a ladder match with a bottle of booze at the top of that ladder against somebody. Maybe I, bring back the drunken scaffold match? Yes, yes. I like the way you think, dude. Awesome. You are the youngest upcoming wrestler out here today, and you're proving yourself all the time. You and Jeff Cannibal killed it, dude. Thank you, dude. thank you. you Enjoy going to the fucking year, and I fucking love you, bro. Thank you, dude. All right, Jake. As I sit in my canteen of whiskey, Seagram 7, Canadian brewed. It's cheap, but I prefer the uh, the other stuff from America. But you want to get out of here? All right, let's go. Actually, eh, I don't care. All right, whatever. <laughs> well, let's hang out more then. Fucking okay. <laughs> low life Louie drank half of my fire. <laughs> Wait, I have another can of Coke. Hold on, I'm going to mix another one. Let's go. All right, the two of the three that I'm using are all here. Just making sure because I drink a lot. We're, we're going to go see what Slack's up to. Hold on. Fucking be homicide. No God! Yeah. Holy shit! Yes! <laughs> Greatest video ever! Thank you, Slack. Happy fucking New Year. You better upload this shit. <laughs> Danny. Yeah. Oh, fuck. You just stuck the camera right in my face. I want to say that I want to say enjoy going to the New Year. And I love seeing you back in the ring, dude. Thanks, dude. And, uh, we love this compound, right? Yeah, dude. Fuck yeah, dude. The summertime, this place is going to be awesome. We're going to be barbecuing and fucking giving fans what they want to fucking see in this place. You already did tonight, so I love you, brother. Love you and Brad are doing a good thing here, man. You take I hate care your, of you. I hate your sweatshirt, dude. I'm looking at Eagles. What? Oh, yeah, you're a cowboys uh, for life, all right, motherfucker. All right, I gotta go. Bye, Danny. <laughs> Before I go, I have to squeeze one more booty. I have to squeeze a booty before I go. Wait, oh. There it is. Jeff Cannonball, Flaming Table, guys. Get on his YouTube channel. Please do. Love you. Go, you enjoy going you. in the year. You and Tara. Love you guys. Alright, so we just got back to my place. Jake's taking a piss or shit, whatever he's doing. Uh, snow tonight, man. Good turnout, though, for all the snow tonight, guys. Um, I actually forgot my cooler, Brett, Nick, anybody. It doesn't really matter. It's like a $10 cooler. It's just a little red cooler. Be, this will be the third time if I lost this one. I'm sure it's still going to be there. But uh, Danny, Brett, Nick, staff, wrestlers, just everything. The show is awesome tonight. I'm going to review it now with Jake. Jake helped me out with that GoPro. That's his GoPro on the ceiling, and it looked phenomenal, dude. Like, I obviously can't have, have the time to edit it, but I... If Smart Mark, I ask Gary if he wants it, I'll just send it to him, dude. Whatever he wants. And if it works out, we're going to watch this. Let's go. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I currently lined the cameras up here. We still have the GoPro mount inside. We're having fun here, man. Yeah, this was a great GCW show, guys. Man. I promise you that that is my goal for 2018 to make this a live stream for you guys to watch. Because, you know, like a lot of these, these guys in the company, Brett, Danny, don't know, I get a lot of messages from like other countries and they want to watch it. We're, we're going to figure it the fuck out, dude. I promise you guys. I fucking ultimately promise you. It might be just this one hard cam, but I'm sure you'll be more than satisfied. We can work out a price. It'll be very cheap. We'll figure it the fuck out, dude. 
figure if we can get like a thousand you guys to watch it and charge like a couple dollars, man, there's two grand, man. Because even tonight you see this, they do this for the fans. It was ten dollars tonight. You know all the boys in that locker room walked away with like nothing, dude. This is for the fucking fans and how much they fucking love us and they love doing what they do. So, you know, this is it, man. That's my big mouth. Alright, we'll come back. I'm still gonna say this. No disrespect to Nick Gage and the Hatred, but you know, we are the youth going fucking wild, dude. John's a dig, man. <laughs> that door spot just now. Let's watch. You're gonna see it all. Zane Dig, if it wasn't for fucking you, dude, this wouldn't even be a thing, dude. Fucking love you, dude. I don't give a fuck where you're at or what you're doing today, dude. You're like 10, 10 minutes away from me. Fucking love you, brother. You take care. Enjoy your going to New Year. We are the youth! Go wild! Alright, guys. I apologize. I'm going to try to end this the best I can as I am completely shit face as it is actually um don't mind me let's check it it's a uh, 3 30 in the morning fuck um i just want to first of all say first of all before i even get into this like thank you to all the wrestlers in the ring tonight um all you guys you know danny brett we know i mean i know as a fan that as when the people come to enter the show at $10 a pop, dude, you know you guys aren't walking away with anything, but you guys, like, fucking love to do this shit, and I, I just want to say thank you. I appreciate all you motherfuckers, dude. Um, you have a love for this industry, and just like me, I have a love for this stuff, man. I've been watching professional wrestling forever, and I'm sorry as I stutter and all this shit. I set up that camera for you guys, just so you guys can watch in, in, in the locker room, and uh Brett asked me, I did my best, I hope it came out good for you guys to watch it, and, you know, but the footage we got tonight, I have a friend that came with me tonight, um, like, as I do this stuff, I try to introduce, like, younger people into this industry, um, this dude, Jake, he helped me out tonight, he had a GoPro, we hung up from the ceiling, it came out so good, might not be, like, perfect, but it came out great, um, he wants to train and do stuff, and, um, I told him he's gonna get his ass beat, you know, all that shit. Um, I said, go up to Gage, and he's gonna actually try to train with them. Comes down to like the financial situation and all that crap. But uh, tonight was amazing. And it was very nice to see like you guys all respecting Loudy, like uh, Brent, Danny, guys, when, when you brought Loudy in there too for OPW, when OPW was like. When uh, Matt Tremont and uh, Loudy had OPW, and now it's just it's Loudy doing it, dude. I respect the shit out of OPW, dude. Um, it's a great company, great wrestling company. And as we just mark the thing where it's going to be uh, Gage and Amanda, I forget his name, I apologize. I fucking drink my ass off. But uh, I watched the videos before that. Um, I'm three miles away from the OTW place, but now I'm only like seven miles away from uh, the compound. And I am so looking forward to seeing uh, OPW at a new environment. I'm telling you guys right now, in two weeks at the compound, dude, OPW is going to take it to another level. And Gage will help it do that. This is going to be one of the best matches you will ever see. And I'm so sorry that I'm like stuttering and all that crap, but I'm... Um, just be thankful for this. Like, I love how, like, all the companies are getting along and doing their thing. Um, just like tonight when I was, like, taking video, I, 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 uh, my one buddy, Jake, helped me out with his GoPro. I can't afford a GoPro. I, I barely was able to afford these other cameras. I got, I have three cameras now, but I want them all on eBay. Like, cheap fucking little cameras, dude. My one regret from, like, the past couple of weeks was, like, when, uh, Slack and Maria Manic like had their match at H2O during the Christmas Classic 2 and I should have just had somebody go backstage to get that because I heard like a lot of you guys you know you're gonna respect that dude she went fucking hard as fuck in there and I heard you guys this was like sitting there as I was like watching her walk backstage I heard you guys all clapping dude 
And I would have loved to have seen that in the back, because, like, she just went through some hard-ass shit, and that, that was fucking awesome, man, dude. Gender equality, you know. It, it, it was, like, fucking awesome, dude. Um, I'm not going to try to, like, talk too much. I just want to say that the companies here, where I live right now, Literally, I have people, like, constantly messaging me, literally, you know, I'm, I'm like that geeky guy, but, like, my YouTube channel just hit 30,000, 30,000 subscribers, fuck, it's mostly just, like, stuff of, uh, my videos from my parents when I was younger, my parents were crazy as fuck, dude, but now I have two beautiful baby boys, and I, I, I do film all that stuff, but I also put the, the wrestling in there when Tremont, the godfather, of uh, Deathmatch Wrestling, um, Loudy of OPW, and uh, of course uh, Danny and Brett, when they, they allow me to share this up, I just continually record whatever I can, dude. It, it's just, I love it, dude. When you love something, you do it because you fucking love it. Um, I don't know what else to say. I just want to say tonight's show was so good. It was so good, dude. GCW, The Compound, Fight Club, Volume Fucking One, dude. And I want to say, as I had conversations with Brett and uh, Tremont, and it kind of reminds me of uh, Subterranean Violence, dude. But um, I don't know. I want to kind of share some stuff tonight or tomorrow morning, but I I'm so tired, dude. I am exhausted. But, like, as. These companies get along, OPW, H2O, GCW, um, Smart Mark Video, of course, like, guys, you guys ever want any footage I ever take? I know it's, it's, it's not perfect, dude, but it, it's always nice to have that stuff. Um, just let us uh, prove the companies, too. That we can get along too, just like that, man. Like, I'm not trying to ever step boundaries. Like, you no, know, my boy Jake helped me out with his little GoPro. I don't have that. I had people sending me online. I had not one, but three people sending me GoPros right now. Because they're like, dude, if I can, like, get it in there and, like, get it done, this means something to me. Because they believe in this company. And I'm telling you right now, that ceiling mount that I had... And the hard can that I had for the locker room, it turned out so good. And then just me staying on a chair and drinking. Like, I know I drink a lot when I go to the shows. That, that's my free time. Me and my girl, we're not going to be able to go out uh, for New Year's Eve tomorrow. Because I have our sons, dude. And, like, I don't have... A, my father passed away, like, years ago. Like, ten years ago now. My mom still hasn't met my kids. And, um... Tonight was my New Year's Eve. And I fucking love that I had such a good time. My girl's New Year's Eve was last night. And, um, I don't know, man. I just, I just love this, this, this industry, dude. Like, and I will always fucking be there anytime they need me. I left all the, the, the 50 foot HDMI cord to the TV for the locker room. And I will continue to do that stuff for them guys, man. I love you guys, man. You guys, you guys impress me every time. Like, tonight was like a show for the fans. We know it's $10 a head. You guys walked out. I'm sure you guys didn't even walk out with anything. You guys came out here, had a good fucking time, and you guys gave us a good fucking time. And I want to say, honestly, from the bottom of my heart, thank you. And Nate, Nate Hatcher, Nick Gage, Hate Club, all over again, man. As I was telling my friend Jake, like, he's, he's 22. He's going to be 22. I'm, I'm 35, dude. I've been watching this shit forever, dude. God, even some of you guys there wrestling tonight. I used to go to these shows back in the day, and I loved it. I would go to... My first my first wrestling show ever was uh, Cactus Jack and Sabu. ECW Arena 97, dude. Uh, I forget the bar where I matched, whatever it was. I got stranded out there. My mom wanted to kill me when I came home, but... um. When ECW folded, I constantly, constantly went to these shows. I wasn't 21 yet. I was like 20. And then when I came 21, I would go to Froggy's Bar, all this shit. It was like a whole thing, dude. And I live in Seoul now. And at the same time, where I live now, my girl's like, you just wanted to move here because, like, this is where, like, that 
that wrestling shit that you're into. I was like, no, it's not why, but I'm like, it's a, it's a benefit. We saw CZW was over at uh, the uh, little kids complex shit and all, you know, all that stuff and whatever. That, that That's our thing, dude. And like, DJ, you do your thing. You try to make it grow, but I'm going to tell you now as a fan, you're going in the wrong fucking way, dude. You're going the wrong path. Just tonight, for example, I'm going to show you tonight, like, the footage I took of the show. Ask your fans. Ask them. How, how dedicated are you guys to this shit? Jake just helped me tonight with this GoPro in the ceiling. I'm going to show you. When we show this GoPro ceiling mount and, like, my little hard shot and my hard cam that was, that was like, lined up for the locker room for these guys, dude. I don't know. It, it just so, it, it's... It sucks to like think about it because I don't I don't know <laughs> I don't know. All I'm saying is that like GCW is on a whole other level and they're growing at a rapid rate and I'm gonna be right there behind them, 100 fucking percent, dude. They need to come by. Can you help me out doing this? Can you help me out do that? Stack chairs or whatever. I will fucking be there, free of fucking charge, dude. Stall for two. Jake, my buddy that was there every night, my buddy Will, anybody that that just comes to these shows because they love it. So, I don't know. It's so nice to see that. And I remember seeing some of the uh, Mid-South shit where they were like, man, you guys have it right over here in Jersey. I think it was like Ian Ryan said, so yeah, like, everybody gets along. OPW, GCW, H2O. Some of the biggest companies ever, dude. And where we live right now, we are fucking spoiled. I don't care what anybody fucking says. I have so many friends that grew up watching wrestling. I mean, we were like some of my best friends, dude. Like growing up watching our... Uh, I watched pay-per-views constantly. It was like the little fucking box. And then it was like, oh, <laughs> I'm not going to say that I, I... I had paid for every show. But uh, we watched um, Mick Foley, Mankind, Undertaker, dude. That Hell in the Cell match just took us to a whole other level. And even besides that, but my friends were all there for that. I was hooked on all Japan pro wrestling, big Japan wrestling, and just straight up death and that shit. I, Foley, like, I remember watching, watching him trading tapes and had seen his whole arm, like, burnt up, dude. And when I first saw him on WWE during the Attitude Era, I was like, I fucking love that man. That's what makes you respect these guys. Not people that land on plastic mats and all that bullshit. You can all see my kids. Like, my kids are fucking nuts, dude. My son the other day watched fucking Darby. <laughs> he was just like, he literally watched Darby Allen's match and he was like, yo. I paused it, it was like 10 minutes later. He watched him do some crazy shit. He went up there and he did a back a back body jump on the floor. And I was like, fuck, my kids are fucking nuts. I love my son so much, but I don't want them to like do this crap. <laughs> I don't, you know what I mean? It's like, sons, I don't want you to do professional wrestling. I just want you to be happy. <laughs> it's, I don't know, but it's it's coming to a point where they're like into it and they're only one and two years old. I don't know, I'm rambling on, but I just wanna say is, um, as you see like OPW, uh, GCW, um, H2O, team up and do all this stuff. I hope me and a uh, smart mark, if you guys want this footage, and I'm sure the fans will love to see, not so much the other footage I took, the hard cam and the crap, because I had the hard cam, but just the ceiling mount work, work, work great. I asked Gary, I said, what would you want to do, Gary? Gary, Gary's been doing this forever. Respect Gary for fucking life, dude, because he, he's been doing this smart mark shit for fucking ever. He's been making video, and I said, what would you do? And he said, ceiling mount. I said, all right. And I said to my boy Jake, we had it on the wall. 
I said, Jake, I asked Cage. He's like, no, we need to put it up there. We'll always make fucking time. And it looks good, dude. All right, so I'm gonna shut my fucking mouth, but I just wanna say for all you guys that weren't here, you can make it to the future shows, man. Just enjoy your fucking life, dude. And, um, Cause you know, life is crazy as it is, man. I don't know, you, you all know what I mean, man. We all have our problems in our life, but I, I just wanna say straight up, man, as one human being to another, man, stop judging, start loving, accept all this with our, and just be your fucking self, dude. GC fucking W, dude. And to all my cats, and I, lo I, I want a dog, but we only have cats. I can't, we can't afford to have a dog because I gotta clean up their shit. That's the cat shit, my kids shit, this is my shit, my girl shit. <laughs> but y'all take care and enjoy going New Year, man. Happy fucking New Year. Can I light this and then go out? Man, so let's go good with booze, man. Happy fucking year, guys. You all take care and go enjoy going into 2018, man. Seriously, you all take care, man.